am Linda Schubert, one of the many yoga instructors at the MAC, the Memorial Athletic Club. And I'm going through withdrawal, not being able to go to the MAC, not being able to see all of you and do our yoga together, do our weight circuits and our cardio. So today, what I'd like to bring to you is the Hatha for All class that we teach at the MAC. And to get ready for yoga, you're gonna need a few things. You'll probably want a mat. And if you don't have a mat, when we go down to the floor, you can use a soft bath mat and put a towel on top of it. In addition, you'd probably like to have some water and perhaps an extra towel nearby. But finally, there's music. I find it really sets the mood. So today, I have three different pieces of music to suggest, and I've double checked, they're all readily available online. So you may want to stop, get the music streaming on your device, and then turn this back on again. The first piece of music that I frequently use in class is called Fairy Lullabies, and it's by a gentleman named Gary Stadler. Fairy Lullabies by Gary Stadler. The next piece is in a series called Liquid Mind, and this is Liquid Mind number four. The author of these is Chuck Wild, and this particular one that I like for the Hatha routine is called Unity. Finally, you might prefer Sing Kair, This Universe. All of these are readily available online, so you might want to select them before you go on. And now we are ready to begin. Begin to feel your feet in contact with your mat or the floor and feel all those points of contact. Coming onto the balls of your feet, going back to the heels. Feel the insides of your feet, rolling around to the outsides, lifting all 10 toes, spreading those toes wide and slowly lowering the toes to your mat, feeling all those points of contact. And if it's comfortable, close your eyes. Take a deep breath, inhale, and exhale, sigh. Once again, inhale, and exhale, sigh. We're gonna work with the breath a little more today. We're gonna to inhale slowly and exhale completely. So inhale, one, two, three, four, five, and exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Again, inhale, one, two, three, four, five, and exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Two more rounds. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five, and exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Final time. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five, and five, four, three, two, one. One. For the next few minutes, you have nowhere to go and nothing to do but right now, right here. Focus. And if your mind tries to wander, pull it back. Right here and right now. Begin to visualize the sun in the sky above. Feel its warmth touch your face and flow all over your body, filling your body with warm, healing energy. And now slowly begin to circle your arms around your body. Reaching your hands up towards the sun, clasp your palms together and draw some of the sun's radiant energy down into your heart center. And see your whole body radiant, filled with the energy from the sun.
and slowly begin to draw your hands back up. And as you circle your arms back down, draw a protective bubble of energy around your body. Ending with your hands in prayer position on your heart. And see yourself in the middle of this circle you have drawn. And you are safe, secure, and complete. Opening your eyes, interlace your fingers, place them underneath your chin for energizing breath. And as you exhale, bring those elbows together, chin up, working with the breath. Inhale, slowly lowering the chin as you raise your elbows, fill your lungs with air. Exhale. And inhale. And inhale, exhale, one final round, inhale, and exhale, release your arms, roll out the shoulders. And with the arms straight, hands flexed, make those big lymph cleansing circles, crossing the arms in front of your body, massaging the lymph nodes in the armpits. And reverse. Ending with your arms up, palms together, interlace your fingers, pointing your index fingers, and just begin to move right and left. Gently starting to loosen sides and hips. Coming back to center as you inhale, lengthen. And as you exhale, hips to the left, hands to the right. Turning the chin towards the left armpit. Looking under the arm, up at the ceiling. Breathing into your stretch. As you inhale, engage your abs and buttocks. And as you exhale, come back up slowly, loosening again. And centering. Inhale, lengthen. And as you exhale, hands to the left, hips to the right. Turning your chin towards the right armpit. Inhale, engaging the core. And as you exhale, come back up slowly, loosening again. And now place your hands on the lower back to protect it for the back bend. As you inhale, chest, chin up. And as you exhale, hips go forward, eyes roll towards the back of the room, shoulder blades towards one another. And breathe deeply from your belly button. Inhale, engaging the core. And as you exhale, come up slowly and continue down in the counter stretch. Hands are either on your legs or if they reach, you can place them on the floor. And begin walking. One leg straight, the other heel up. Alternating back and forth, beginning to loosen legs and hips. Place both heels down, clasping around calves or ankles from the outside. As you inhale, bend your knees, place your stomach on your thighs. And as you exhale, begin to straighten only as far as you keep that contact. So your legs are not going to be straight all the way. Breathing deeply. Rolling those shoulder blades up, back down, away from the ears. Inhale, bend to your knees. And as you exhale, roll up slowly. And once you're up, inhale your arms up. And exhale. 
Beginning Triangle Warrior Series, we're going to do it all to the right before we switch left, starting with simple triangle. Legs are wider than hip width apart. Turn the right foot to the right and the left foot at a 45 degree angle, but keep the hips and shoulders facing forward. Inhale. And as you exhale, right hand goes down, left hand up, palm forward, looking up. Reaching up with those left fingers, feeling that length from the left fingers all the way down to the right hand. Turn your head and look down at the right foot. As you inhale, engage your abs and buttocks. And as you exhale, come up slowly, widen your stance. Bending that right knee no further than the ankle, keeping the hips and shoulders forward. Turn your head to the right. This is warrior two. Inhale. And as you exhale, reverse warrior. Scoop the right hand up, palm forward. Slide the left hand down the back of the left leg. Looking up and reaching up. Inhale, and as you exhale, back to warrior two, looking right. Inhale, and as you exhale, right arm down, left arm up, palms forward, looking up. Inhale. And as you exhale, side angle. The right arm is lightly on the right leg, bringing that left arm alongside the head palm down, turning the chin, the chin towards the left armpit. See if you can bring that left side of your body into a tight, strong diagonal line. Inhale. And as you exhale slowly, come back up. Rotate the left foot around so that now your hips and shoulders face the right side of the room. And bring your feet a little bit wider apart for stability. Warrior one, inhale your arms up. And as you exhale, bend the right knee no further than the ankle. So you may need to step that left foot back a bit. And now reach up with strong, powerful arms, lifting your chest reaching with the fingers. Inhale, place both hands on the right thigh. And as you exhale, straighten that leg, slowly coming down into pyramid. Hands stay on the leg, or if they reach the floor, place them on either side of the foot. And slowly allow your body to surrender into the stretch. Never pushing this to the point of pain or even straining. Preparing for revolving triangle. The left hand can stay on the mat or on the right leg. Place your right hand on the right hip and as you inhale bring that elbow up towards the ceiling turning your chest towards the back wall. The arm is optional. What's important is the good spinal twist. Working on spinal mobility. Inhale and as you exhale, close right back down into pyramid again. Preparing to release. As you inhale, shift your weight to the right foot. And as you exhale, left foot up to the right. Knees stay bent. Inhale, swan dive up. And exhale, arms by your side in mountain. And hold here in mountain pose. Feet are shoulder width apart. Palms are forward, thumbs opened out. Going into airplane. 
Inhale, engaging the core. And as you exhale, bend from the hips, bringing your body into the shape of number seven. Lengthening the neck and spine, engaging and strengthening your core. Inhale. And as you exhale, come back up slowly and release. Facing front, starting with the other side. Simple triangle. Turn the left foot to the left and the right foot at a 45 degree angle, hips and shoulders forward, arms outstretched. Inhale. And as you exhale, left hand down, right hand up, palm forward, looking up and reaching up. Turn your head and look down at the left foot. Inhale. And as you exhale, slowly come back up. Finding your stance, bending that left knee no further than the ankle. Turning your head to the left, warrior two. Inhale. And as you exhale, reverse warrior. Scoop the left hand up, palm forward, slide the right hand down the back of the right leg. Looking up and reaching up. Inhale. And as you exhale, back to warrior two. Looking left. Inhale. And as you exhale, left arm down, right arm up, palms forward, looking up. Inhale. And as you exhale, side angle, left arm lightly on the leg, right arm alongside the head, palm down. Turning your head, look underneath the arm, up at the ceiling. Inhale, and as you exhale, come up slowly, rotating that right foot around, so hips and shoulders face the left, and bringing your feet at least shoulder width apart for stability. Warrior one, inhale your arms up, and as you exhale, bend that left knee no further than the ankle, looking up and reaching up. As you inhale, place both hands on the left thigh. Exhale, straighten that leg, slowly coming down into pyramid. Hands are on the leg, or if they reach either side of the foot. And surrender into your stretch. Revolving triangle, right hand on the mat, our left leg, left hand on the left hip. And as you inhale, that elbow goes up, twisting the chest towards the back wall. Arm is optional. Inhale. And as you exhale, close back down to pyramid again. To release, as you inhale, shift your weight entirely to the left foot. And exhale, right foot up to left, knees bent. Inhale, swan dive up. And exhale, arms by your side in mountain. Facing front, starting with the balancing poses. Let's begin with the chair pose. Feet are shoulder width apart, arms outstretched. Weight will be centered in your heels. Inhale, and as you exhale, sit back in the imaginary chair. Lift your toes to see that you're centering your weight in your heels. And if you're ready for more, bring the arms alongside your head, palms towards one another. 
This is more strenuous for the back, so do what's best for you today. Inhale. And as you exhale, come back up, leaving your arms outstretched. Widen your stance, toes out, heels in for plie. Inhale. And as you exhale, slide down the imaginary wall, coming onto the balls of your feet. But if this is hurting your knees or you have a knee injury, don't do it. Lower the heels, elbows into the waist, opening up the arms, fingers spread wide for moon flowers. Inhale up and exhale. Inhale and exhale. And finally, inhale and exhale. Bending it over as if clasping a ball for sunflowers. Arms and legs will not straighten this time. Inhale up and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Again. And release, release the arms and legs. Preparing for eagle. Inhale your arms up, bring that right arm down, clasping the left shoulder blade and the left arm on top. Roll out the neck and shoulders and just let go. Bending from the elbows, bring your arms together. Palms are optional. If this is uncomfortable, you can place your arms together and you'll be just fine. Sit, just like you did in chair pose. And then bring that right toe out to the side and get a focal point. And when you're ready, cross this leg over, placing the toe on the floor. And if that's fine, wrap it around your leg. and release and let go. Inhale up, left arm goes down, clasping the right shoulder blade and the right arm on top, rolling out the neck and shoulders, just letting go. Find those tight spots. Bending from the elbows, arms together, palms optional, sit. Balancing on the right leg, left toe out, and when you're ready, cross that leg over, placing the toe on the floor. You have to sit for this to work. And if that's fine, wrap it around the leg. And release. The next pose is dancer. And many of you may find going over where you can lightly touch something that does not move will help you as you get used to doing this pose. Balance on your left leg, extending that left arm, left palm forward. Open up the right hand, bending the right leg at the knee, clasp the inside of the foot, bringing the knees together. And when you're ready, push straight back. So I'm going to go over to a wall that I can touch and push straight back, coming into that graceful arch for dancer. And release. Other side. Balancing on the right foot. Open up the left palm. Bending that left leg at the knee, clasp the inside of the foot, knees together. And then when you are ready, push straight back.
and release. To release your backs, toes inhales out so you don't slide. Inhale up. And as you exhale, bending from the hips, clasp your hands at the elbows, and then let gravity take hold. As your head reaches towards the floor, lengthen your neck and spine. Consciously allow the shoulders to relax. The neck and the jaw, just let go. Place your hands on the floor underneath your head and heel toe into shoulder width apart. As you inhale, bend your knees. And as you exhale, roll up slowly. When you're up, inhale those arms up. And exhale. The counter stretch for dancer is forward fold. And it's got a couple of different stages you can go through. Go only to what's right for you. Balance on your left leg. Get a focal point, maybe on the floor. Raise your right leg. And this may be all the challenge you need. Ready for more? Clasp below the knee and forward fold. For those of you that are more advanced, you may wish to clasp the foot or perhaps extend the leg. And release, other side, balance on the right leg, focus, raise your left, clasp below the knee and fold if that works for you. If it's fine, then go further, clasping the foot and perhaps extending the leg. And release. Preparing for the T, bring those arms up, interlace your fingers, pointing the index fingers. Balance on the left leg, right toe back. And now engage abs and buttocks and legs are tight. You can choose whatever arms you like. Any of them will work. And when you're ready, lift only as high as you can stay in a straight line. Now, if you're more advanced and medically it's okay for your foot to be above your head, you may allow the hands to drop and raise that right leg up. That leg is straight and strong, toe pointed. Slowly lowering that leg, bending the knees, coming up slowly and inhaling up. Interlacing the fingers, pointing the index fingers, balance on the right leg, left toe back. Legs are tight, abs and buttocks engaged. Choosing whatever arms work best for you and come up only as high as you can stay in a tight straight line. Noticing if one side's very different than the other. If you wish to let the hands drop and raise that left leg up, straight, strong, toe pointed. Slowly lowering that leg down, bending the knees and coming up slowly. Inhale up and exhale. One more and that's the tree. Balance on the left leg, sole of the right foot up against the left. You can leave the toe grounded or bring it higher. Hands in prayer position. And when you're ready, allow your tree to grow and open wide.
palms up. And release. Switching sides, balancing on the right leg. Sole of the left foot up against the right with the toe grounded or higher. Prayer position. And in your own time, grow and open wide. Palms up. And release. Toes inhales out so you don't slide. Interlace your hands behind your back, pointing the index fingers down towards the floor. Feel the shoulders back, good for posture. Working with your neck, inhale, and as you exhale, right ear towards the right shoulder. Slowly bringing the chin towards the right shoulder. Coming back to center, shoulders are back. Inhale. And as you exhale, left ear towards left shoulder. Slowly bringing the chin towards the shoulder. Coming back to center again, shoulders still back. Allow the chin to relax towards the chest and feel your neck release. Coming back to center, interlace your hands completely and draw them away from your buttocks for the shoulder stretch. Inhale, and as you exhale, top of the head goes towards the floor, hands arch up towards the ceiling. Get a good shoulder stretch, just right for you. And release. Place your hands on the floor underneath your head, turn toes out, Heels in, left fingertips towards the front, turn the right fingertips to face the left hand. Inhale, and as you exhale, bend that right elbow, right knee, until you feel a good stretch up the inside of the left leg. Coming back to center, Right fingertips towards the front, turn your left fingertips to face the right hand. Slowly begin bending left elbow, left knee, till you feel that good stretch up the inside of the right leg. Coming back to center again, preparing for squat. If squat's not good for you, you can always repeat runner stretch or just lie down on your back on your mat. That's where we're headed. Heel toe into hip width apart, ending with toes out, heels in. You can leave the hands on the floor. If this is completely fine, hands in prayer position, pushing with the elbows out against the knees. But it took me four years of yoga to be able to do this, so don't rush it. Do what's best for your body. And then lie down on your back on your mat. And I'm going to stop so we can get settled in on our backs. <laughs> 